We have not experienced this level of widespread drought across the province this earlier in the year, uh, this early in the year in recent memory. BC's drought conditions are concerning. Already two-thirds of the province's water basins are either at a level four or five drought, five being the worst. And while some communities are starting to implement water restrictions, Minister Bao and Ma says you shouldn't wait for that to take action. There are some simple things you can do around your home to conserve water, starting in the bathroom. The first easy step you can take to save water is have shorter showers. Here's a fun idea. Pick your favorite two or three minute song so you can keep track of time and Man, I feel like a woman. sing along in the shower. Have some fun with it. This is a new one to me. Try getting a bidet in your bathroom because it actually uses less water than what's needed to make toilet paper. And another easy tip, don't leave the tap running when you're brushing your teeth or shaving. Moving on to the kitchen, don't let that faucet run when washing the dishes or vegetables. It's also a common myth that hand washing uses less water than a dishwasher. Dishwashers actually use five times less water, but you need to make sure that you have a full load. You can also find some creative ways to reuse leftover cooking water, like to help thicken soup or sauces. Now let's move into the laundry room. You should wash only full loads of laundry and try to choose a shorter cycle. Oh, and if clothes aren't too dirty, maybe you can rewear them a few times. I mean, some of us are still working from home, right? No one will ever notice. Now let's head outside because there's lots of ways you can conserve water in your garden. Try watering plants early in the morning or late in the evening when it's cooler out to reduce loss through evaporation. Also take advantage of mulch because it does the same thing. You can also install smart irrigation controllers that can adjust watering schedules based on the weather. So if there's rain in the forecast, they can skip watering that day. Here's to taking some easy steps to conserve water in our communities.